Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Anil Taylor. I'm a consultant gynecologist and I practice in the UK. In this video, I want to talk about what a two-week rule referral is. Now, this is uh, relevant uh, for individuals who live in England and Wales. Um, Scotland has its own uh, system of uh, urgent referrals and so does Northern Ireland. So this topic is most relevant to individuals who live in England and Wales. So a two-week rule referral is also called a two-week wait referral and it is exactly as it implies, uh, i.e. that following a referral um, the patient is meant to be seen within two weeks by a hospital specialist. And so these are, uh, there are a set of criteria that a GP can follow uh, and uh, uh, that um, uh, for, for, and if those criteria are satisfied by the patient, then the patient is referred as a two-week rule patient. Now, this is a system that can uh, uh, apply to various specialties, not just gynecology. It can apply to uh, bowel uh, surgeons, urologists, hematologists, um, head and neck surgeons, uh, all sorts of specialties. Uh, if there is a suspicion of cancer, the GP can um, refer the patient urgently so that they are seen by a hospital specialist within two weeks. So that is the mechanism um, to allow the GP to make urgent referrals. Now, if we look at just the gynecological criteria for the various um, cancers. So if we, for instance, start with ovarian cancer, what, what uh, symptoms do the patients have to have um, for them to satisfy the criteria for a two-week rule referral? So uh, symptoms like persistent uh, abdominal distension or bloating, uh, persistent meaning uh, more than 12 episodes per month, uh, so almost every other day uh, having sensation of bloating um, can trigger uh, uh, a referral. Uh, somebody who uh, uh, has reduced appetite or becomes or has a feeling of feeling full after a very small meal, something that we call early satiety. Um, now, those, again, ca uh, can be referred uh, urgently. Somebody having uh, unexplained weight loss um, is uh, a criteria that can also be used. If uh, uh, either the patient or the GP or the practice nurse uh, have felt a lump in the abdomen, uh, that doesn't feel like an obvious fibroid because sometimes you can tell whether a lump is a fibroid or not. But if it doesn't feel like a fibroid, then again, a lump is not normal and can trigger a ref an urgent referral. Uh, other things like ascites or having fluid inside the tummy. Uh, is not normal. So uh, normally the abdominal organs are, are not bathed in any fluid. Uh, having fluid in the tummy is not normal. And ovarian cancer can be one of the causes uh, of ascites. Uh, and therefore, uh, if, asc if ascites is suspected, uh, and of course ascites can cause uh, swelling of the tummy, uh, then um, uh, the GP can refer in. If the GP has uh, already uh, arranged a pelvic scan and found an ovarian cyst or some sort of a, a pelvic mass, uh, then again, that can be referred in urgently uh, to be assessed within two weeks. So that's uh, some of the criteria for ovarian, uh, suspicion of ovarian cancer. What about uh, womb cancer? So. Uh, the, the commonest one here is postmenopausal bleeding. Um, so if somebody is not on HRT, then of course they should not be bleeding. Uh, and as I said in my previous video, uh, 
any bleeding after the menopause should be viewed with suspicion. So uh, anybody who comes with bleeding uh, in the postmenopausal uh, period, then um, uh, they can be referred in urgently for further investigations. If the patient happens to be on hormone replacement therapy, then occasionally HRT can cause bleeding. Um, and so the advice there would be to stop the HRT for about six weeks to see whether the bleeding remains persistent or not. Uh, and if it remains persistent, then again, it would need to be referred in as a two-week rule referral. Um, another set of patients who can be referred urgently are women who are on some medicines that can cause womb cancers. So uh, tamoxifen is a drug that is commonly used to, to treat women uh, who have previously had a breast cancer. Now, uh, tamoxifen can cause womb cancers, or at least it can cause lots of womb polyps, and sometimes those polyps can become cancerous. Um, but generally speaking, it is not common. So if you're on tamoxifen, it isn't something that you should worry about. Uh, but clearly, if you do start bleeding whilst on tamoxifen, then it is something that you should be discussing with your GP because it would be a criteria uh, that the GP could use to refer you in urgently. So these are uh, patients uh, in the postmenopausal uh, age group uh, who have irregular bleeding, postmenopausal bleeding. Now, womb cancers, about 10% of womb cancers also occur in the premenopausal age group. And of course, premenopausal age group would be having periods, so they would already be having bleeding. Um, so how do we suspect womb cancers in the premenopausal age group? Now, here, erratic bleeding sometimes or bleeding uh, in between periods, something that we call uh, intermenstrual bleeding. If it, if it is persistent, uh, happening in sort of more than three cycles, then that is something that would trigger a two-week rule referral uh, for a suspicion of womb cancer. What about um, cervical cancer? How does one go about suspecting a cervical cancer? So again, if uh, there has been an examination, say when you were having a smear or something like that, um, and something odd about the cervix, then that can trigger a two-week rule referral. Or if the patient is having uh, unusual symptoms like uh, bleeding after intercourse, post bleeding, then again, that can trigger a two-week rule referral. Um, cancers of the vulva and vagina fortunately are not common. Uh, so here, if there is uh, some sort of an uh, unexplained lump or a suspicious lesion, then that can trigger uh, a referral. Uh, if there is any ulceration that is causing bleeding, then again, that can uh, cause, uh, uh, that can uh, sort of allow the GP to refer urgently. Um, so uh, again, there are, of course, women who have previously had a gynecological cancer, and if they start developing symptoms that could be suspicious of recurrence, um, things like uh, uh, more vaginal bleeding or persistent bloating or changes in the bowel, um, then again, these women can be referred uh, urgently for further investigations. So, um, when these patients are referred in as a two-week rule patient, um, there are uh, certain obligations that the hospital has to satisfy for these patients. So the first one is obvious. If it's a two-week rule referral, the hospital is obliged to see that patient within two weeks of the referral being sent. So as soon as the GP uh, has sent off the referral, usually it's either by fax or email uh, to the hospital, as soon as that referral has been sent in, then the, uh, clocks, uh, the clock starts um, and the hospital is meant to see within two weeks. So it's not uh, within two weeks of the hospital receiving the referral. It is within two weeks of the GP sending the referral. So that's the first obligation the hospital has. Now, um, the majority of uh, patients um, 
who are referred as a tubercle patient don't actually have a cancer. Um, probably less than 5% in gynecology would actually turn out to have uh, cancer, meaning the majority of patients sent in as a two-week rule patient don't have a cancer. But if a patient does turn out to have cancer, then the hospital is obliged to make sure that that patient is treated of that cancer um, within 62 days, meaning two months. Within two months of the GP referring, the patient the patient's cancer should have been treated. So for instance, if it was a womb cancer uh, following a referral with postmenopausal bleeding, then the hospital should have made sure that the patient has had their hysterectomy within those 62 days, within those two months. So, uh, so that's the uh, uh, second obligation. A third obligation is that if there is a cancer, uh, then once the cancer has been found following the initial investigations, um, so once the cancer has been diagnosed and the, 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 the hospital specialist sits down with the patient and explains to the patient that the cancer has been found and that so-and-so is going to be done to them, when that decision to treat occurs, the hospital is obliged to ensure that the, hospital, the, the patient has their treatment within 31 days of that decision to treat. So those are the obligations that the hospital has uh, in terms of uh, ensuring that uh, the, the patient journey uh, following a cancer diagnosis is not prolonged. Now, is the two-week rule system uh, an effective way of diagnosing cancer. Um, it is a step in the right direction, of course, um, but it isn't uh, foolproof. Uh, so, for instance, if we look at womb cancers, uh, with womb cancers, roughly just above uh, half of them, 54% of all womb cancers are diagnosed or were diagnosed um, uh, after a referral under the two-week rule system. Almost a third of the womb cancers, about 29%, um, were diagnosed following a routine referral. So the GP therefore wasn't suspecting a womb cancer and yet a womb cancer was found. And um, with womb cancer, um, a tiny minority are found to have that cancer following an sort of emergency admission into hospital for something um, uh, and, and, and the investigations uh, reveal a womb cancer. So that's with womb cancer. With ovarian cancer, the, 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 the figures are even worse. So um, only a third of ovarian cancers, one third of ovarian cancers are actually suspected by the, can, uh, by the GP and were referred in as a two-week rule patient. A quarter of the uh, ovarian cancers, there wasn't a suspicion and uh, uh, they got sent in as a sort of a non-two-week rule, a routine referral. And again, another quarter, alarmingly, another quarter uh, are diagnosed to have an ovarian cancer because they have been admitted Im uh, uh, urgently or as an emergency uh, with uh, symptoms such as uh, bowel obstruction or uh, persistent vomiting um, or any symptoms that uh, sometimes goes with ovarian cancer. Um, so uh, as you can see from these figures, a two-week rule system, referral system, Yes, it's a step in the right direction, but um, the vast majority of patients who are sent in uh, as a two-week rule patient don't have a cancer, and um, a lot of cancer patients, unfortunately, are not or were, were not suspected as having cancer and were therefore not sent in as a two-week rule patient. So that is all I want to say in this video. Thank you very much. For
for having joined me. Uh, my next video that I'm going to be uploading is on a subject of how we investigate someone with postmenopausal bleeding. Um, if you find these videos helpful, um, please consider subscribing or clicking the like button. So I will hopefully join you uh, in the next video. Thank you. Bye.